So like I was saying before, um, I miss the, the wonder that comes with playing an MMORPG because for most of my early teens, I was like super duper into the MMO like concept and um, the idea of playing this like RPG with a b whole bunch of other people and I was like crazy into that shit, you know? That's really creepy. Yeah. That's how the souls of the walking damned do. You gonna do anything, you little bitch? Or you just gonna float around there? <laughs> Ow! Wow. <laughs> Alright. Is this a boss? No. Sure? Yeah, he's just a fucking ghost. Okay. Little bitch ghost needs to know his place, his weevil wobble ass. Because I played like a few MMORPGs that were like free, and then uh, I played Star Wars Galaxies, which uh, was kind of a shitty game, but it had its, uh, it had its, um, what's the word, uh, it had its allure. I've got to get out of here. It was like, I mean, the combat was really stupid and jarring and all that, but it had like... It had crazy in-depth, like, uh, uh, what's the word, uh, aesthetic shit. Like, um, they really wanted to try to do the whole, like, living in the galaxy sort of experience. Right. So, like, there were professions in that game. Like, instead of classes, you had professions. And, like, you didn't have to be some sort of fighter profession. You could be, like, for example, a dancer was a profession, and I think an architect was a profession, and they literally didn't, like, fight. They just did that shit. They architected and danced. Really? Yeah, and, like, there were there were players in the game who would go into, like, cantinas or, you know, bars and shit and dance to uh, revitalize some of the people who were doing, like, the fighter shit. So they were, like, healers then? Kind of, kind of, but it wasn't like, you know, wow healing where you mash a button and the health bar goes back up. You just, you would just go into a bar and you would be like, okay, I want to do this dance. And then you're like Twi'lek or whatever would start dancing. And then people would come in there and actually watch you and like tip you and shit. And then that was it. That's what you did. And that wasn't all you did. Like that was the other thing. Like it had a crazy amount of like emotes and, um, like, uh, like, personality shit. Like, whenever I went from playing Star Wars Galaxies to playing WoW, it was actually jarring how many fewer emotes WoW had. Like, hmm. Star Wars Galaxies had tons of fucking emotes. And some of them had the same animation, but they would just say different shit. Like, like, cheering or, like, uh, praising or, like, the same thing, basically, but it has a different text or something. But you could also, like, set your mood in that game, and your character's face would actually wear that expression. So you could set your mood to angry, and your guy would just be like, the whole fucking time. Nice. Or you could set it to happy, and they'd have this dopey-ass smile. It was nice. So why'd you quit playing that one? Uh, I quit playing Star Wars Galaxy because, like I said, the combat was hard to figure out, and it was generally well, just kind of... Why you just a dancer, then? You didn't have to fight shit. Because I didn't want to be a dancer because I was a fucking 14-year-old boy. I wanted to go out there and shoot shit, man. I want to be a fucking Jedi. I wanted to be a bounty hunter, that's what it was. But it was just, I don't know, it was weird and complicated, and I couldn't figure it out. I mean, most people couldn't. That's why they, like, they canceled that game, and, like, they redid it, and then they canceled it again, and they released that stupid fucking... KOTOR MMO that they came out with that... Like every other new MMORPG just turned out to be a fucking WoW reskin. Well, yeah, I mean, you stick to what works. Fuck that, man! You take elements of shit that were really interesting, and then you take the shit that works with the new shit, and then you make something better. Like, that, if they took... Okay, this was the main thing about Star Wars Galaxies that I really loved, was they had, like, fully comprehensible player housing. And you could play on, like, a different... You know, they had different servers and shit. And on in the world... Show me your face, you little fuck. In, in the world... I mean, in the, in the server... They had, like, all the different worlds. Like, you could go to Tatooine and Coruscant or whatever. I don't remember the fucking names of the planets. Me neither. But I don't know if Coruscant was one of the ones that blew up. Blew up. But you could go to the planets and uh, you could go 
you would land on the planet in like the starport or whatever. Then you could get in your vehicle, which you could buy and own. You could buy like a hover speeder and a bike, like you could buy a mountain. Wow. Then you could drive out for like miles of nothingness on this planet. And then you could build your own fucking house there. Right on. Like a like anywhere it was a planet worth of space for you to build shit. I mean it wasn't like an actual planet sized thing, but it was it was big enough that the world wasn't populated constantly by shit, you know? Like if you play WoW, they're like it's like either you're in a town or you're somewhere that you do a quest. That's the only diff two places. There's no like empty space in WoW anymore. It's all being used by something. Okay. In Star Wars Galaxies, they had tons of space that wasn't used for anything. And you could just go into a place and just drive out and plant your house somewhere. And then you could fill your house with any item in the game. It had a physical manifestation like a like a Elder Scrolls game or a, you well, know, any Bethesda game. And you could just put that shit in your house and decorate it. You're doing a pretty good job of selling me on this Star Wars game. Yeah, it doesn't exist anymore. Sorry. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure the servers are offline now. Here's what's even cooler than that, though. You could buy, like, a space yacht. Okay. And have, like, a spaceship that worked basically like a house, and you could populate it with shit. You could put shit on it. And what you would do is you would invite people to your to a group with you, and they could come on your yacht with you, and you could take a leisurely trip to another planet. So they would all come and get on your boat and... They'd all just hang out. You'd get your, like, guild or whatever the fuck they would have called it. And just party on your fucking yacht. That's pretty rad. It was so fucking cool, dude. So if they could take, like, some of the more interesting... Why would that? That game failed. That's not why it failed. It failed because the combat and the leveling and all that shit Yeah, but that's not how vague. corporate looks at it. Exactly. That's the problem. If they looked at it that way, it would everyone would be a lot happier. Mostly me. Mostly me. I don't know if anyone else cares. Mostly me. Because now every game is just WoW! And it's like, oh, this game's gonna kill WoW! It's the WoW killer! Fucking WoW's killing itself, dude! You don't need to kill WoW! Do something else! Yeah. Well, they are. They're doing, like, Le League of Legends and shit like that. It's taking up your multi-platform. Which is, yeah, that's pretty weak. It's a different... Because that's, you know, that's like a different experience. Like, the whole the whole MOBA thing. Uh, multiplayer online battle arena or whatever. That's a different experience than, you know, the RPG, because that's what I was saying, to get back to what I was saying in the beginning. I, I miss that sort of wonder exper wonderment experience of exploring a world and, like, meeting people and having it all be kind of this, like, semi-roleplay, like, context for it all. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, with, with games, like, WoW started out kind of like that, and then the more the game is out, the more they dumb it down for new players, and the more it becomes less about the world that it's set in and more about I want to grind it in game and get loot and gear and do the grindy shit and you really peel off all the layers that exist in the game until it's just a mechanical you know number crunch basically yeah and that's that's why I quit playing WoW is because it wasn't about being you know like a troll hunter or whatever and and meeting new people and and hanging out with them in the context of your world, it was, okay, I'm going to play a hunter, and I'm going to queue for an automatic dungeon queue with random people I'm never going to see again, and I'm going to mindlessly press only three buttons, and then, okay, we win. Yeah, Next. That's how I rolled. And it, I, I, there's just so much, I don't know, man. It's not a hunter. Hunters are trash. I'm getting hella salty about it. But that's that's why I don't miss well. But but every now and then I'll uh I'll go I'll go back to it Whoa. and and I'll remember what it was like to want to play an MMO in the beginning and be interested in it and I'll kind of I'll want that again. But I don't think that game like that that game exists anymore. You know, if nah. it ever did. I mean, there's stuff kind of like that, but everything's I mean. They're making money, dude. That's all they want to do. Well, exactly, it's, yeah. It's like, um... Shit, I don't know. Like, whenever they build a toll road, and after the road's been paid for already, then the people who built the toll road just sell it to some company, and then they continue charging you tolls for a road that doesn't need to be paid for anymore. Yeah. So, guess, the yeah. people that built, like, WoW and... 
uh, and stuff like that, they made their money, and then it basically got outsourced to some other asshole. Are these little slugs never going to stop? Because I can't... It looks like they're just coming and coming. They're taking up my fucking lock on, and I can't get a bead on this asshole. So they're changing it up. They want you to, like... Have to target those guys instead. That's how they're making it more complicated, I guess. There, I fixed it. <laughs> yeah, put you on your ass, didn't it, you old fuck? <laughs> I don't know. I hope. I hope. I hope one day they'll make a, a proper RPG. Well, yeah, Again, but nobody's I, gonna buy it. I. So many people would buy that shit, right. man. You go. You motherfuckers will start buying it, and then as soon as the new like hotness hot. Or drops, you're gonna be all over that shit. Wow was a fucking fluke, if you ask me. Think so? Yeah. Eh. And even if it wasn't, the world can't support more than one of it at a time, basically, because all the other ones that are halfway decent shut down or nobody plays anymore. Well, that's because those all fucking sucked. Whoops. If well, they made a good one, then it wouldn't get shut down. Because every single game they made after WoW was just a WoW clone that was not as good as WoW. If they made a different fucking game, that would be different. Well, what they want is the WoW money. If they made a different fucking game, they'd be getting different fucking money, and then they'd... That's almost doing a creative job at that point. No, because here's the thing. There's a whole contingent of people who stopped playing WoW for all the reasons that I just subscribe, described. If they took all the elements of WoW that people wanted more of, that WoW just, you know, slowly picked off, and then implemented that into a cohesive system in a new game, all the people who got burned out by WoW, which is by far most of their subscribers, would go play that game. And the only thing that would stop them is, you know, when that company eventually fucks that game up, which I'm sure they would. Exactly. <laughs> but, you know, then we'd have a few more years of something fun, and that would be still interesting. I mean, I played WoW for like eight years or some shit, and I enjoyed at least five of them. If I got another five years of a solid MMO, I'd be happy with that. Well, that sucks. Whatever. It's probably not gonna happen. Yeah, I'm sure it will eventually, maybe, but we'll see. It's like it's like how uh, like platform games, like uh, the well, oh god, that makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, they get you if you get into the dark. Oh, that's oh, really fuck. uncomfortable. Oh fuck! I didn't know this was a slide. Oh, whoa! What the hell's happening? How? Why are you dying? Ugh. What is it? What the fuck? Oh, okay. Because of those fucking sharks. Like I told you, if you get in the dark, you get hurt. But I hit that slide. Oh, I, I thought you meant they would, like, come eat you or some shit. Oh. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Where's the fucking switch? Uh, it's in the middle somewhere. I don't fucking know. I hope that was it, because I needed uh, it. Uh, oh, wow. I'm dead. Wow. <laughs> this is some hard shit. <sighs> well, it's like I was saying with the platform games, like... Games like Banjo Kazooie are coming back now, so maybe you know. I think there'll be a resurgence. There, there's always resurgences with shit like this. Oh, I'm trying to land this before we got it bounced. Do it, man. Do it. Got it. Nice. Get my heel on. Well bounced, hurry, sir. Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh, oh. <laughs> this looks this looks complicated. I don't think I want to do this. Oh, so there is... Okay. I was thinking those flowers, like, just lasted forever. No, they hold on you until you let go. Oh, okay. But I also can't really tell where the light is when I'm in purple mode here. That's fair. So I'm just trying to heal a little bit so that I can get on these platforms and move on with my life. Oh, wow. This looks fucking harsh, bro. Eh. Jesus Christ. Oh, boy. That's scary. <laughs> ah! Oh. I got it. That thing looked like it was ready to fucking snap like as soon as you got on it. Yeah, it was it was twitching a little bit. This is fucking nerve wracking. What the fuck, dude? Are we nearing the end of this area? I hope so, because Yeah, I think that's what I'm looking for this one. No wait, that's just a bottle. You gonna oh really? Okay. More of this. Fuck. Oh god. Fuck. Please be right. Uh, no. Damn it. Squish. Okay, well, I don't really want to stop in the middle of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try and let's try and get to the end here. The fuck? Are you really supposed to make that jump? 
Did I miss the fucking platform? No, you totally didn't. Well, I can't see shit now, so... Hmm. What the fuck? I totally missed it. Weird. I'm gonna bail. Reset that light. <laughs> it's a speedrunning trick, by the way. Yeah, it's totally... It's uh, 100 cent. saves you four seconds. See, now it's here. Put it in the Spanish version. Save us three more seconds. Gotta be in the Spanish version. I don't want that fucking bottle I want out of here. Still don't, yeah, some... Oh. I don't even know what the bottles do. No, they're just a collectible. I don't know if they unlock anything in particular. Oh, okay. Fuck! I thought they were supposed to be, like, I don't know, extra lives or something, but I guess you don't have lives. Mm -mm. No, sir, I do not. Lives are becoming, like, points, dude. Like, they just they don't exist in games anymore. Well, that's because you don't need them anymore. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's kind of a... They serve the fucking purpose at some point, but it's now they don't. It's a moot concept, Fuck. I guess. Fuck. I should have waited. This looks fucking hard. This is going stupid long. That's what she said. Hey, oh. Fuck you. It totally... I saw it go down. Like, I saw the plate move down. Oh, is that it all the way down there? Yeah. Huh. Well, I guess you didn't need it. What? Fuck. 